Welcome to Appleby Hall. Appleby Hall is the resource hub of the U of M campus. Some offices include the Aurora Center, the Gender and Sexuality Center for Fair and Trans Life, and the Multicultural Center for Academic Excellence. And our home, the Women's Center. You might be asking yourself, why do we even need a Women's Center on campus? Good question. Here are just a few reasons why. Women tend to feel less supported in university environments, which explains why women make up the majority of college students overall, yet lag behind in several fields, including professional and doctoral degrees. Across the country, women professors earn less, hold lower ranking positions, and are less likely to receive tenure. Of the women professors here at the University of Minnesota, 50% work as lecturers and instructors, while only 21% are full professors. 2.4% of full professors are women of color. Goldie, did you know that women's athletics at the typical Division I university receive roughly 28% of total athletic dollars? That includes less money spent on recruitment and scholarships. Additionally, in 1972, 90% of women's teams were coached by women. But in 2015, that number had dropped to 43% despite Title IX helping to raise coach salaries and get more women participating in sports. Welcome to the Women's Center. The University of Minnesota Women's Center is the oldest campus-based women's center in the nation. For over 50 years, we've been supporting the U of M and campus community. Today, the mission of the Women's Center is to advance gender equity across identities. We are committed to creating an environment where all can thrive. We work to educate and inspire feminist leaders by offering over $80,000 in scholarships a year to women-identified students and hosting events and workshops centered around social justice. We advance an empowering intellectual environment by providing opportunities for our students, staff, and faculty to grow as leaders, such as through our student volunteer group, the Feminist Ambassador Brigade, and the discussion group, Our Voices, which centers Indigenous women and women of color. And we advocate for a university community and climate that's equitable to people with all different types of lived experiences. For example, lactation advocacy. Welcome to one of the lactation rooms in Appleby Hall. The Women's Center also has a study lounge full of inspiring art and coffee that you can drop by. What questions do you have? Visit us at 64 Appleby Hall or at diversity.umn.edu. The Women's Center was flawless this morning. How did you wake up this morning?